walking through this vineyard, these grapevines look like they have all the nutrients they need, but we really can't tell until we do a soil test and a foliar nutrient test. Hi, my name is Annie Claude, and I'm an extension educator for fruit and vegetable production at the University of Minnesota. Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating how to take a soil test in a vineyard or an orchard. So the supplies that we need for this are a bucket to collect the soil, a shovel to get the soil, a pair of gloves to mix the soil in the bucket, and then a paper bag to collect the soil and actually take it to the lab. Before I start collecting the soil sample, there are a few key things that we wanna remember. First, we need to sample soil from throughout the field and always sample from underneath the row, not between rows when we're talking about a vineyard or an orchard. Most of the roots are growing within the row. There's too much compaction between the rows and too much cover crop roots in, for those uh, grapevine or orchard roots to really be growing there. So it's important that we're sampling in the rows themselves. Sample from the top eight inches. And if you have blocks of your vineyard that are different topographically, or maybe you planted them at different times, it's important to take separate samples for those different blocks of your vineyard. For instance, if you just planted a vineyard last year, you're gonna want a separate sample there than for a vineyard that you planted 10 years ago. What we're looking for here is to get at least eight inches deep. So about the length of your shovel blade. So we're actually gonna dig a hole, put that soil to the side, and now what I want is a slice from the edge of this hole. That allows us to make sure that the shovel full that we put in the bucket actually contains soil from that hole profile. All right, so I've got my slice. I'm gonna put that in the bucket. So that's one of our subsamples, and now I'm gonna go around to the rest of the vineyard and take about five to 10 more. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not taking samples from the edges of the vineyard. I wanna get them from uh, parts throughout the middle, so it's really representative of the whole vineyard. Now comes the fun part. So I got all my sub samples. Now I just need to mix them together. I'm gonna to break up all the clumps that are in there. I like to wear gloves to do this. If there's a lot of rocks in there, go ahead and take those rocks out. Any big insects, get those out of there too. We just want soil here. All right. Once I have it thoroughly mixed, all the clumps broken up, now all I need to do is take a sub sample of this, about a pint's worth and fill up this bag, and then I'm gonna submit this to the lab. So the next question then is how do you submit your soil sample? All you need to do is go to the University of Minnesota Soil Testing Laboratory website and click on Testing Services. And for you as an orchard or vineyard, you want to click on farm or horticultural field. Once you're on this page, you can scroll down and learn more about how to submit a sample for analysis. But if you go over here to the right, you can also just click to download the submission form. After you download the form and you fill out the information, make sure you select that you want them to do the regular series and a lot of growers will select calcium and magnesium tests as well. Often we do have high calcium levels in our soil in Minnesota, but not all the time. So once you fill out your form, just mail it in with your sample and you're good to go. For more information on taking a soil test and submitting it, you can go to soiltest.cfans.umn.edu. You can also contact your county extension educator or go to extension.umn.edu. Thank you.